morning, Jetty Rockers. Welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Well, I'm out on the salt water again this morning. It's been a while since I've been out here. It's been a while since I've been in my boat. So we're gonna go look for today. I think we're gonna look for some uh, weak fish, maybe some river whiting. Might try a little bit of sheephead fishing. And uh, when I go through the no egg zones, I'm gonna be tro trolling uh, uh, some plugs, see if there's any bluefish around. That's kind of my plan for today. We'll see what the day brings, y'all. First spot, first deep hole. It's about a 20 foot hole sitting right out here. And hopefully the weak fish and the whiting have moved in. So we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna just be using some dead shrimp on the bottom. I'm gonna get rigged up, see what we can do. All right guys, I got something weird. It's running towards me. What is that? Oh, it is what we're looking for. It's a whiting. Awesome. All righty guys. We got our target species. Nice little river whiting. Awesome. They also call these the northern kingfish. Pretty cool little fish, and man, these things are really good eating. So, alrighty, let's see how big he is. There's no size limit on them, but I'm just curious of how big he is. That 11 and a half inch whiting. Pretty good. Alright. First one down. Well guys, I fished all over inshore and I wasn't having no luck. I got that one whiting. So I came out to look at the inlet. Inlet was nice, offshore was nice. So we're offshore now. We're about, I don't know, five, six, seven miles offshore. I don't have any big equipment with me so we're gonna be using small stuff today and uh, using some dead shrimp and some fiddler, uh, sand fleas on the bottom. Hopefully there's some sheep head out here, maybe some porgies. But we'll see what we can do, y'all. Hopefully we can turn the lemon into some lemonade. Let's see. Don't think it's a grunt. It's not a grunt. It is a trigger. Look at that, guys. I got a trigger fish. Uh, he is not big enough. That's a nice trigger. We got to be 14 out here to keep, but I guarantee he's not 14. Oh. If we were inshore, he'd be legal at least 12 inches. Awesome, triggerfish. Good here. I don't know what it is, but I got something with some fight to him. It definitely is not a grunt. Oh, that is not a grunt. That looks like a trigger. Another triggerfish. Pretty. Just can't keep them. Man, that is a cool looking fish though. Look at the teeth on them things. Cool fish. Delicious eating fish if they were big enough. All right guys, well I made a move. We're another two or three miles out. Didn't catch nothing at the other spot, but a whole bunch of grunts, a couple short triggers. Hopefully we'll find some lanes or something a little bit different here. See what happens. Guys, I'm hooked up. Does not feel like a grunt, I will tell you that. Does not feel like a grunt. Oh, it is a red snapper. All right, cool. Something better than grunts. Pretty little red snapper. I can do with that. Can't keep them, but man, they are fun to catch. Pretty little guy. See you later, buddy. Okay. All right, well, there's some some life here. Hopefully we'll catch a lane or something. Already getting hit guys. Oh. There we go. That's a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a good fish right there guys. That's a good fish. Oh yeah. Come on baby. 
Boy, that's a nice fish. Nice red snapper. Nice one. Look at that. All righty. All right, well, he swallowed it. Let the vent him and let him go. Pretty fish, though. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, maybe he'll be all right. Let's see. Cut the move. Cut the move. I think he'll be all right. Yep, there he goes. All right, guys. I'm just going to show you what I'm using today. I'm just out here having fun on little reefs. This is a ugly stick. Seven foot medium action rod. I got it rigged with a... Uh, a pin pursuit 2 4000 i got 30 pound braid on here just using a simple fish finder rig a little weight about a one and a half ounce weight a little swivel about 18 inches of 20 pound leader and a little hook and we're just using little pieces of shrimp and we're having a ball hey guys i'm already getting hit i already missed it let's see if i can get him again he's hitting it again He's got it that time. All right. Ooh, yeah. Man, this is fun. I love this kind of fishing right here. Another nice red one. Cool. Awesome. A little light tackle. Offshore fishing. It is a blast. Pretty little fish. I'd like to catch a lane so I can take something home, but man, that's fun. All right, guys, I'll drop this back down to the bottom. Watch how quick this is. All right, I'm on the bottom. Get a slack out of the line. Drop it back. Watch how fast this is. Oh, he's already on it. Yep. Come on, brother. Hope oh, he didn't get it. Red snapper all over the place out here. Yep, another red one. As uh, my buddy Lane would say, salty kayak, these are the government fish. Old government fish. And they are everywhere. Pretty little guys, but man, they're pretty. Oh, he got off. He got me. Reel it up real quick. I'm gonna get another bait on real fast and get another bait down there. I'm just using dead shrimp, guys, because I really just had the plan today to fish inshore and catch some whiting and weak fish, but it was pretty dead inshore. So I came out to see what the inlet looked like, and it was nice out here. So I said, we're just gonna come out here and have fun with some red snapper and whatever other kind of bottom fish we can catch. See what we can do here. If I had to take a chance or take a guess, it's going to be a government fish. Oh, he's hitting it. There you go. We let it go. Surprising. Big ocean. I'm not alone though. I got people out here with me. There he goes. There he is. Up, oh, came off. Right, guys, I'm hooked up again. Oh yeah. Oh, come on. 
There it is, another red one. Oh, just came off. See you later, buddy. Quick release, gotta love it. Let's put the same bait back on, see if I can get another one. Same bait. The other spot I was at, I was catching more grunts than anything. This spot, I haven't even caught a grunt yet, so that's awesome. Just must be loaded with red ones down there. See how fast this is. Oh, he's hitting it. There he is. Oh, well, that was a bigger fish. Holy cow. Yeah, that was a nicer fish there. Let's see if he cut me off. No, he just came unhooked. Well, I'm already getting hit, guys. There he is. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, yeah, that's a good one there, man. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, get him up. Come on. Come on, get up. Come on. All right, I got him off the bottom now. These fight real good. Nice red snapper. Man, they are so pretty. Look at them. Look how pretty that is in the water, guys. That is so cool. Come here, buddy. Oh, he swallowed the hook. He gets to keep this hook. And the type of hooks that we use out here, these will rust out in just a couple of weeks. Won't even hurt the fish. All right, there he goes. See you, buddy. They're hitting it so quick, as soon as it hits the bottom, they're on it. Might make a move here in a minute. See if I can find something else other than the red snapper. It's turned out to be a really nice day, guys. Beautiful out here. Fishing about 70, 73, 74 feet of water. There he is. There he is. This don't feel very big. Yeah, this don't feel very big at all. Came off whatever it was. Hey guys, I'm hooked up. Another red one, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Another red one. Little guy. It's a little, little one. Little, little one. Man, they are eating my hooks. These little circle hooks are expensive. I'm not supposed to eat those. I'm not supposed to swallow the circle hooks. Need to get the memo. Got a real one on this time. This one definitely ain't no grunt. Definitely not a grunt. There we go. This is a red one. Small red ones, but they're red. Another red one. Small but pretty. Guys, marking some stuff down below me, so I put a jig on, started jigging it up. And I just hooked something decent, man. What is this? I snagged a bluefish. 
Alright. It's not what I was expecting. I got my jig. Dang it. Oh well. Alright. Put another one on, see if I can do it again. Well, Jetty Rockers, that's it. I'm gonna call it a day. It's a uh, quarter after 12. I've been out here since eight o'clock this morning. I've had, a fun, I've had fun, I've caught a few fish. So what I came out here to do is just to have fun. I wasn't really out here to put fish in the box. If I caught something, that's cool. But I just came out here to bend a rod, just catch a couple fish and have fun. Well guys, I wanna thank each and every one of y'all for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And for everybody that has subscribed to this channel, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate y'all, I really do. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell for notifications. And so I get to see you guys soon here on the water, which I hope is real soon. Tie lines, hey, Jetty Rockers. Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mud. I appreciate you guys very much. I'll check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers.